first of all, I'd like to thank our players. Uh, the most important part of being program is always the student athletes. And we're fortunate to have some tremendous young men, uh, as does Murray State. You have to give Coach Kennedy and his staff uh, credit. Uh, the road to any OBC championship goes through Murray State. Uh, that's, that's been the course of the you know Ohio Valley Conference for years, and uh, we were very fortunate. It was a hard fought game. Although both teams played hard. It's probably not a pretty game, uh, except on our side, it's always pretty when you win. You know, that has a tendency to make you feel better. But uh, certainly, uh, college athletics is about the student athlete experience, and I'm really proud of our guys because they're such good kids and uh, just outstanding young men. They represent Tennessee Tech University well and uh, extremely well, and I appreciate that. So that's, that's my opening statement. 30 seconds of uh, Zach. Oh, us. Yeah, the last 30 seconds was uh, probably the longest 30 seconds of basketball I've played. Uh, I think there was, you know, many possessions, and um, you know we got a good, we got a defensive rebound, and you know we want to take a good shot, and uh, you know, we spread the floor. And um, I give a lot of credit to Judd Dillard. I know, you know, most people don't see it unless you're watching on the, watching TV, but uh, Judd set an excellent ball screen for me and uh, gave me just a, a little bit of daylight to uh, you know focus on the rim, and you know luckily I knocked it down. The game is um, it's very exciting for all of us. I mean, this is my first time really getting there. This uh, being at Tennessee Tech, my first two years, we we didn't do as well as we wanted to, but this year I think we can take it off. Yeah, looking forward to it myself. You know, um, I went to the NCAA tournament as a freshman, and uh, you know I've been expressing these guys. It's, it's the best feeling in the world. You know, I played in you know hundreds and hundreds of games, and you know there's no feeling like like cutting the nets down after that that last game. And you know when uh, Coach Sutton recruited me here, that was our uh, our deal was to go to the national tournament um, two years in a row. And we're uh, one game away from uh, accomplishing that right now. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, we're, we're looking forward to the championship game. You know, it's been talked about that we want to get to the NCAA tournament all year. And, like, I seen on ESPN today, like, we're in the top five in teams, uh, as far as Division One teams, that – haven't been that got the longest streak who haven't been to the NCAA tournament we're looking to challenge. I can only offer my opinion about that, you know, uh, you know, and, and my own personal opinion, which is probably different from everyone one else's. So, you know, what what has happened is the the administration uh, of the various schools have decided it's gonna be that way and, and those are the people that we work for and, and we'll support that and I think they have enough um, knowledge to decide if that's something that they want to revisit, they will, but you know, that's, you know, you have to play by the rules, just like the rules of the game, so we do it. And then, you know, you just want to survive and advance, and, and so much of that has to do with teams and players, and you know, there's some years that probably uh, we overachieved getting to the semifinals. You know, that's the thing that uh, I'm not sure people realize. When I took the job and Dr. Bell hired me, one of the things I told the players, the returning players, that, you know, I'd been to nine NCAA tournaments, and my goal was to help them achieve that same goal. And that's what you strive for every year. I think that is a good end goal. It's not the end all. You know, the end all is, is graduating players and having young men like we have. And you know, we found out in August, we still weren't sure what good, how good a team we'd be, but I was very sure about the type of young men we had in our program. When you watch them interact with other people and they and they watch people that are much less fortunate than, than they are and how they, you know, accepted things, you know, they they, they weren't uh, they didn't have big heads about anything. They just acted like themselves, and that's that's still the most important.